Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be attempting to solve a designer PDF viewer. So in this problem we're given a PDF viewer and it says that once we highlight the words within the PDF viewer it creates a highlighted text right, or a rectangle. And what we're asked to do is find the area of that rectangle. So each word within the PDF is highlighted independently so for example, A, B, C is one word or one string, D, E, F is one word or one string, and G, H, I is one word or one string, all right? So in this example, we're given the word torn, and it says that the character T is two, O is one, R is one, and N is one. The tallest character is two, right? It's too high. And there are four characters. So in total, we have, well, the area is going to be two times four, which gives us eight, all right? Well, after you really read this, it doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't tell you how to generate two for T or uh, one for zero or one for R or N. It doesn't tell you that until you come down here. And it says that the first line contains 26 space separated integers describing the respective height of each consecutive lowercase English letter and it's going to be a subset of the ASCII table lowercase a to z and then it says that the second line contains the word consisting of lowercase English alphabet letters okay so now we come down here and it says that the first input that we're going to get is the 26 space separated perspective height so you get your 26 separated perspective heights and then you have your word or your string, all right? So how the hell did it even get the first, you know, the first numbers here, all right? So the way that they did this was they take the character and they associate the character with an index. So since A is the first character of our subset of characters from A to Z, lowercase, we have to take the value A and figure out what is the offset that we need to subtract from A to get our uh, height from the height array, okay? So we know that A is going to associate itself to the zeroth index of our height array, all right? And B is going to associate itself to the first index of our height array and C is going to be the second index because index are zero based, right? We start counting from zero. All right, so with that said and done, what this problem gave us was a clue and it says look to the ASCII table. So for example, if we go to the ASCII table here, we can see that lowercase a is the value um, 97, all right? That's an integer, you get the value 97. Okay, and so if we take a right, which is the character that we're given that we're given here, and we minus ninety seven, it's gonna give us a zero, right? Because it's the same thing as saying a is or a, which gives us the value zero, and zero is gonna match our first uh, value in our heights array. So what if we had b for instance? B is ninety x, and the the, subs the offset that we need is still a because a is gonna be the smallest. All right, the smallest value that we need to uh, subtract from to give us our index right within the heights array. So uh, B is 98, so B, um, 98 minus 97 is going to give us 1, which is going to associate itself with 3 because B is going to be at the second index of this heights array. So what we need to do is loop over our characters figure out what is the index that we need, and then we need to take that index and grab the values from the height array, okay? So I hope that makes sense. If the explanation doesn't make sense to you, you can always drop a comment down, and I will try to explain as much as I can, all right? So let's go down here. Um, before we go down, let me just uh, solve this real quick, okay? So for A, we have the value one. For B, we have the value three and for C we have the value one because they both correspond in with the right indexes. Now what we do is we take we need to keep track of the largest height that we find. We take the largest height 
multiply it by the length of the actual string, which is 3. So 3 times 3 gives us 9. Okay. So in this case, uh, z, which is going to be at the 25th index, right, is going to be 7. So 7 times 4 is going to give us 28, which uh, is the right answer, right? Okay, so let's go down here and um, let's solve this problem. Um, you can use any language you want. Just follow the steps in your language on how to, um, to get this working. So the first thing that we're going to need is the max. And for now, we can set this to zero because we know the biggest number that we're going to get is one. Okay, so the, the smallest number that we can get for our height is going to be one. So we can use zero. The next thing that we're going to need is our offset. So our offset should equal to 97 because that is the number that we need to subtract from to get the index within our array. And what we can do is keep an index variable. I don't know. Let's just let's not keep it there. Let's just go ahead and. Um, uh, continue. So we know that the inner workings of an actual character is just an int, right? So we can use um, int ch, and we need to convert our word to a character array. So I'm going to say uh, to char array, and then uh, we need to go ahead and grab our index. So our index. So let's do uh, int index. Is going to equal to uh, ch minus the offset, right? And then that should give us so that if the, if the character was a 97 minus 97 gives us zero. All right. So now what we're going to do is say that if right um, ch actually uh, well. We're going to say that if a max right is less than h, so our height in the, at the index, then we need to store the max as the current value um, in that index. So we're going to say that max is going to equal to uh, h, and we're just going to grab the value of the index, and this should be it for getting the maximum value. Now all we need to do is return. Uh, max right times the uh, word dot length all right so this should be it for this problem so we go through we have a max variable we have our offset all right and then we calculate our index so that we can use that to grab the right value within our height array we keep track of the max and once we're done going through looping through every single character within our string then we take the max value times the worth length all right so let's go ahead and run this code and that's correct and let's submit all right guys this will be it for this tutorial as always if you enjoy the content of my channel please like and subscribe have a good night bye bye